<laughs> Jada, the new Disney Pinocchio. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> oh, come on. That was a light one. <laughs> Uh-oh. Richard. Hey, people in the place to be what's going on it's me it's me so jada has finally talked about what's happened with her and will and chris at the oscars kind of sort of what do i mean well we'll get to that right about this is a really important red table talk on alopecia considering what i've been through with my own health and what happened at the oscars what you've been through what what in, in my best Steve Harvey, in, in my best Godfrey doing a Steve Harvey impersonation, impersonation. Huh, what? What you say? That was terrible. That was awful. My voice is scratchy. Uh, uh, what? What? What you say? Uh, uh, what you? What? Hold on. It took our girl all of 11 seconds to make this entire thing about her lord have mercy jada is far from a victim in anything that transpired on that night period point blank or before then or since then she is in no way shape or form i wanted to spell i'm, I'm we're gonna spell this right now jada pinkett look at me look at me right here right up first off will jada 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 Jada, 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 Jada. That's the first thing. Oh, her name all up in my mouth. Come come slap me. I would love to own all of West Philly after you come and slap me unabashedly. Secondly, um, you are far from a victim, Miss Pinkett Smith, in any of this. We have seen your shenanigans on a world wide stage. And yet, and yet. It, the audacity, the, as Mick Foley would say, ovarian fortitude of this, as Dusty Rose would say, Jezebel, Jezebel, to come up here and in 11 seconds make this all about her. The pivot. I don't know. See, hold on. Now, see, this might have come from a PR team. We are 11 seconds. We aren't even into the whole thing. This is a red table talk. It's 30 minutes. We ain't going over the whole 30 minutes. I just want to talk about her intro here for a second. It may be a PR thing here to make the, to try to pivot her way to being the victim because that's where the bread and butter is. However, we have seen over the past couple of years how she has publicly made really will a victim in all this. If there is a victim, Will is a victim, Chris is a victim, Jada ain't no victim. Jada ain't no victim. Do not, don't believe the hype. Don't, don't, don't believe the hype. Jada ain't no victim in anybody with two brain cells to rub together's universe. Jada ain't no goddamn victim. You understand? You understand? All that I've been through, listen, listen. And it was very stealthy of her to put the health thing in there, but listen. Listen, it's only, it's out, it's only al alopecia. Calm down, <laughs> calm down. And, and she's had a 30 year history of mostly being with short hair. Calm down. Ain't nothing that happened on that Oscar stage had anything to do with alopecia, had anything to do with Chris Rock, but it had everything to do with the relationship between Will and Jada, Will's uh, idea of masculinity and him trying to present same uh jada's uh not understanding her true feelings and or how what she does affects the people around her that has everything to do with all that shit it has nothing to do with chris it has nothing to do with alopecia it, it don't believe anybody that says it has anything to do with alopecia that shit had nothing to do with goddamn alopecia you and i both know that 12 seconds in, and I had to break it down like that. God damn, let's, let's keep going, let's keep going. Now about Oscar night, my deepest hope is that these two intelligent, capable men have an opportunity to heal, talk this out, and reconcile. The state of the world today, we need them both.
and we all actually need one another more than ever. Until then, Will and I are continuing to do what we have done for the last 28 years, and that's keep figuring out this thing called life together. Thank you for listening. Half a what? Half a what? Oh, Lord. First off, so we can finally put together, we can finally put to rest the rumors that Chris and Will reconciled. They didn't. And honestly, I didn't believe that shit when people were talking about it. Like, they forgot to, the Twitter, Twitter, social media has been wrong about black male issues vividly for the last couple of weeks. You know, they were, or months, really. They were wrong about what shit was going on Oscar night. They were wrong about Kevin Samuels for the most part. And they're actually 99%, 99.9% of the shit with Kevin Samuels was all bullshit, especially if it came from fucking haters. And they're wrong about this shit too. Are you fucking, so they did not get, they did not reconcile, they did not get together. Maybe their PR people tried to talk or whatever, but they did not reconcile and get together. Clearly, she just, she just told us so. People have made Jada out to be on social media, this Machiavellian villain, this sort of Lex Luthor, uh, uh, Sor- S- Serpentina type villain Morgana from uh, King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. Ask your parents, kids. Uh, this Scorpina from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Ask your parents, kids. Uh, this 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 sort of this sort of uh, uh, this mythical evil villain. Uh, uh, in in all this, and you know what? I there's not much evidence to the contrary, and this does not change that really at all this little intro this little we need i hope that there's healing and blah and blah listen none of the he, here here's the here's the real crux of this that a whole lot of people even you know my podcast partner trey over at the how do we even get here podcast didn't quite understand and most people don't quite understand this no real healing really can take place between chris and will uh no real honest conversations that take place between Chris and Will until an honest conversation happens between Will and Will. Not Jada. Fuck Jada. Will and Will. Will needs to figure out in his advanced age, he's older than me, contrary to popular belief, he's older than me. Will needs to figure out what actual masculinity is. In that in that context of the Oscar slap, the, act, the actual, the actual factual display of masculinity True masculinity, good masculinity, virtuous masculinity was from Chris Rock. Chris Rock restrained himself in those moments all the way through to the point where he gave that award to Questlove. He restrained himself the entire time. That's the strength. He even almost crossed that line. Because if you remember in the tape, he said, I could... Oh, he almost crossed the line. Chris Rock is a versatile experience with decades under his belt of being able to skewer anybody in an instant that he doesn't even know, that he knows no details about whatsoever. Oscar night, we all knew way more about the Smith, really, Pinkett, household than we ever needed to know. Chris could have destroyed by himself, by himself, destroyed both of them to their face on a worldwide stage because as somebody who is very versatile and very experienced and understanding of the English language, Someone, as someone who myself considers myself at least an amateur master linguist, cunning linguist, see, that's why I'm an amateur, cunning linguist, I can tell you in an instant, and there's, there, in an instant, you can destroy somebody with words, especially if you know anything about them. With the training that stand up comedians have, on an amateur level, let alone a professional, like Sir Christopher Rocketh? Oh, baby. There'd have been no coming back from this shit. And he told them, he said, I could, oh, and in that moment, in that moment, this is where the masculinity comes in. 
This is where the art comes in. This is where that, that maturity comes in. Will Smith was nothing but immature that entire night. That bullshit acceptance speech, nothing but immature. Afterwards, nothing but immature. Chris Rock understood what mature, and even the people that helped fucking his brother Tony. His brother Tony was off stage talking about, how, you know, uh, that's part of the act. But in that moment, Chris understood, like, listen, it, Chris understood, like, I have a lot to lose in this moment and nothing to gain. What, street cred? Fuck street cred. Street cred will get you locked up or killed. Fuck street cred. I have nothing to gain from eviscerating this man that I can easily do so in a couple of seconds. He has nothing to gain from that. Not only did he have nothing to gain from that, he'd look like, even though he was justified in that moment, the bad guy. There's nothing to gain from that. There is money on the line for a man like Chris Rock, who has, at this point in his life, expensive alimony and child support payments to make. He understood that he had nothing to gain from eviscerating Jada Pinkett and Will Smith. Nothing. And everything to lose. He would never be asked back to Oscar night. His ticket sales would not substantially, at least, increase. Networks would probably not be willing to work with him, at least not on that same level that they're willing to work with him now, on specials or future series. He understood in that moment that restraint was the strongest move. Restraint was the strongest, best, most prudent show of masculinity. So, he restrained himself. Will, probably on the advice of his PR team, didn't say a word. Jada didn't say a word until it was time for her show. So it was time for her to display her show. She probably, you know, there was, I think there was another episode before this, right? That was probably already in the can and they had a schedule of when they were going to release, et cetera, et cetera. And they didn't, ex and they didn't disrupt any of that to address any of this. Because remember, Jade is the star in all this. When it comes to Jada Pinkett Smith's world, she's the star in all of this. And even in this episode, she makes, she diverts from the actual issue. The actual issue is masculinity when it comes to Will Smith and his idea of masculinity, how he uh, addresses and expresses his masculinity, how he accepts his masculinity, whether or not, and how he accepts Jada's, honestly, masculinity. And the life that he leads with his wife. The issue here is Jada and her relationship with Will. Now, I've heard people talk about, and I've had different conversations with people, I'm on this sort of uh, different plane right now where I'm trying to come uh, from a, a place of, of good faith and ask and examine people's ideas of positions that they hold in good faith, right? Trying to do away with sign language, shame, insults, guilt, the need to be right. Trying to stick to the issue. Trying to examine things on the actual level that things present themselves. And so this Jada Pinkett Will Smith situation has me talking to people. And some people are like, well, you know, they had an open relationship. And Will knew what he was getting into, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you know, Will's a grown man. You know, that whole situation where Jada was like, oh, this party is all based on your ego, et cetera, et cetera. It's all based on, you know, Will, you know, it has nothing to do with, Jada's not a, a evil villain that people make her out to be, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And while I understand where they're coming from, I don't entirely buy it. And here's why. Because we have, I personally have seen relationships where one person, man or woman, drives the bus. 
where one person, man or woman, steers the ship and gaslights the other person. Tells them what they like. Tells them, and not and not in sort of like, you know, I, I know what this person likes to eat. So when I, so when they ask where are we going to eat, I, I know they like Chinese, so I'm going to say their favorite Chinese. No, no, no. No, no. Where this person knows what this person wants and steers the ship in that and knows that the other participant, at least one of the other participants in this relationship is so, as Olivia Newton-John so famously sang on that goddamn terrible swing set, hopelessly devoted and will do anything. Will has openly said, I will not divorce Jada. He gave away any semblance of any kind of leverage when he said that. Because guess what? Now Jade is going to take advantage of that. Now Jade is going to take advantage of Will. And has. For a very, 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 very long time. And she's not. Does Jada Pinkett at all seem like she's happy? Does Jada Pinkett at all seem like anything she does is for her family in the least. Not even her kids. Damn Will, not even her kids. It seems to be all about her. And that's fine if you're single. That's fine if you don't have kids. Or if your kids are of a certain age and hers are creeping up there or at that certain age. But can we stop pretending that Jada Pinkett is any kind of victim in, in this at all? Can we stop pretending so? What happened if the Oscars had dick all to do with her alopecia? Dick all. What happened if the Oscars had dick all to do with Chris Rock? Dick all. Now, he was a casualty, but it had dick all to do with that. And everything to do with the relationship between Jill, uh, Will and Jada. And both Will's inability to figure out his position in this relationship and make the best maneuver for him because clearly jade is out for number one will is not well guess what your kids are grown now will you can finally start looking out for number one because we can all see jada is looking out for number one so there's that but then there's also the fact that jada is not expressing any kind of love for this man whatsoever and hasn't for years. She's not expressing any kind of, of, of caring for this man and hasn't for years. Oh, well, you don't know anything about the relationship. They put it out there for all of us to consume. They are the new age, Car the Kardashians are still around. They're the black Kardashians. I know the Kardashians have had a lot of black in them, but they're the black Kardashians. Listen, Mama Susan, I know, I know that was that was a joke. Listen, calm down with the demonetize. I'm not even monetized anyway. You can't affect me, no way. Her entire business model at this point to try to catch up with her husband, who is far surpassed her in terms of revenue, just based on his star power, is to is to put their entire family's dirty laundry out in the middle of the streets for everybody to talk about, to consume, to give them clicks, all that. So then where do we go from here as a culture? Um, honestly, I think, and it's a shame that this happened. I really kind of knew it would happen. I was hoping it wouldn't, but I really kind of knew it would happen that we didn't actually have the conversation we should have had as a result of this. Everybody in typical fashion was distracted by the shiny jingling keys and not with the real effects of the real issue that's really at the heart of this situation. The new but not new role of men in today's society and their expression of masculinity, their expression of vulnerability, the, accept, the actual real, not bullshit, you know, you like a tweet or you or you say something on Facebook or Tumblr, whatever, but actual acceptance of their vulnerability or not, right? So looking at the situation 
from a, a obvious from the same perspective that almost everybody else is looking at their at their situation. Jada doesn't respect Will at all, and she's shown that in the past couple of years. She doesn't respect him as a man. She doesn't respect him as her husband. She doesn't respect him at all. She doesn't respect him. And that's, while that on the surface is a shitty situation, I actually understand it. I get it. It's a, we're all stupid animals. We're dumb mammals. And that's a stupid reptilian mammal response. It's the same situation when it comes to, you know, oh, I like a tall man or, oh, I like a woman with fees curves or et cetera, et cetera. We're all dumb animals and we instinctively respond to certain things in certain ways. We Different things come to our purview and we have instant stimuli to that. We have instant responses to that. And they are, and, and I can understand, uh, uh, through nature, how those things happen, right? Miss Jada doesn't respect Will as a man because she's been allowed to walk all over him for far too long. And Will has let that happen. Now, from there, you can go into a couple of different situations. I've actually brought forth the question of whether or not this is a huge, elaborate cuckold situation. Because, let's face it, don't act like you haven't been to those to those sections of, of Pornhub and 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 and, and uh, U Porn and 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 Tube Eight and really Bing Doc Bing Bing is great. Bing is shout out to Bing. Bing is great for for porn on the video side. Go to Bing and go to the video section. Turn off the moderation thing. Woo 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 woo, baby. Oh my goodness, that is. You'll find what you're looking for. It ain't sports mark, but you'll find what you're looking for. And and more. But what if this is an elaborate cuckold situation? What if all this is just this elaborate, the most elaborate cuckold situation in the history of cuckold situations? Now, in, when you see these cuckold videos, right? They're videos, right? They're, I'm sure there's a safe word, right? Everybody's taping everything. People are consenting, et cetera, et cetera. You go to these different parties, cuckolds are ex accepting, et cetera, et cetera, right? You know, you have these agreements with the partners, safe words, et cetera, et cetera. What if this is a huge elaborate one? What if what if Will Smith is really enjoying all of this humiliation? Because contra I know instinctively you're like, humiliation, you enjoy that? I personally don't. I'm a show off, baby. I don't. But I understand that there are people who do mostly men i understand that there are people who really do enjoy that i understand that there are people who who that's 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 it baby that is the that is the climax stacks are blowing world's exploding that is the apex baby is to be humiliated in particular by or with a woman you know all there are many different facets of this so what if it's that what if it's that? What if that's just the kink of these two people and we're all experiencing it and we're all a part of it? If we are, baby Mazel Tov will, you know, I'm not going to shame nobody's kink as long as everybody's an adult and consenting. I'm not going to shame anybody's anything because we all got something. But what if it's not? What if Will really is just one of the ultimate nice guys who believed all the hype, who after his last divorce was like, I'm never getting divorced again. I'm sticking with whatever I'm sticking with. I chose this horse. This is the horse. I'm riding it till the wheels fall the fuck off. And doesn't realize that they fell off miles and miles ago. And doesn't realize that for his own mental well-being, his own mental health, his own financial health. He should probably get off. Jane is going to be just fine. God knows evil lives forever. But Will? What if he doesn't realize what's happening around him? What if he's so encased in the situation that he can't escape from it? It happens to all of us at some point or another. 
What if it's happening right here on a grand stage, a world stage, for an extended period of time? What if Jada just don't give a damn? Her daughter wrote a I miss you letter to a man who died before she was born. Whose name was not Will. Or Smith. But sure, let's pretend like this whole thing was about your alopecia, Jada. Let's let's pretend for a moment. Let's act like this whole thing was about you showing up to the Oscars with a bald head after walking around for decades with short hair. I think to wrap this whole thing up, this is not really under any circumstances if you are objective at all. And again, I'm really trying to be good here. If you're objective at all, this does not make Jada look good. This is a clear, oh, you're too cynical. Follow me. This is a clear, precise, calculated pivot to try to make Miss Jada Pinkett Smith look like a victim. This is a clear pivot to try to make the kid who threw all the toys off the shelves, onto the floor, crying his eyes out, stamping his feet, throwing a tantrum. Or not even. This is a clear pivot to try to make the kid who talked the kid into making the bad act into the victim. When she is not. She is not. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but boy, oh boy, I would have to hear some convincing bloody evidence to say that Miss Jada Pinkett Smith is a victim of any kind in this entire situation. Yet here she is, 30 minute video, about 49 seconds into it, that intro, to try to make her seem like a victim in all this, when clearly by this point it has gotten to her that she is the serpentina of this whole situation. And I'm sure there are some people, because they did it then, that are throwing shade, that are ignoring, that are condescending to, that are laughing about Chris Rock and Will Smith, respectively. That are not understanding that these men really will. Christmas collateral damage really will. Is probably not in the best place. All you people who talk about mental health. You want to talk about mental health. Baby you need to talk about Will Smith. You need to talk about the other men that are in Will's position. In various forms or another. Obviously not as public as Will. But in various forms or another. Who are in these situations with these women because they love them, because they because uh, they think it's their last chance, and you don't need to be uh, you don't need to be broke to think that. Who who have kids with women who are financially tied to a situation, men or women. You know, it doesn't even have to be a straight thing, men or women. You know, you can talk about the people, but we're talking about men here because if we're being honest, nobody gives damn number one about the mental health of men. So if we're talking about the situation, we really need to talk about Will Smith and his situation. If we're talking about mental health. We need to talk about Will Smith and his mental health situation right now. If you actually, factually believe the shit that you espouse upon on TikTok, on Twitter, on Facebook, or any other social media uh, platform, you need to actually take a real life look at Will Smith and actually really look at him and think maybe, just maybe, he's the victim. Because there is nothing and the rock means nothing to demonstrate that Jada is anything but a perpetrator.
party people. Been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without some dope ranch to, 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 blah, 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 to step to. I've been drinking a little bit. Uh, but I'm right here. I'm 100% right here, and y'all know I'm 100% right here. I need you to let me, if you, but you know what? You may not. You may be one of these people that are like, oh, you're so wrong about this, that, or the other. Listen, I actually do want to engage in conversation with people that have differing opinions with me, as long as they're in good faith. If you're in good faith, you're not going to use sign language, shame, insults, guilt, the need to be right. If you're going to come with an actual perspective, right, that can stand up to rebuttal because I'm I'm probably going to rebut you. Then come on and bring it down there in the comments section. I need you to like, I need you to share, 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 share. <laughs> There's a joke to be made about Jada here, but I won't make it. Oh, I'm I'm on Chris Rock. But oh, I could oh. Um share the video and subscribe. Uh party people, there are many Many, 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 many other ways that you can help support me, support the channel. Uh, we're going to try to get this thing back up and running uh, at full speed right now. Things are going to come out as they come out. You're just going to have to bear with me. All right. Make sure you hit that bell so that you can see when stuff comes out so you can help support me. There's no schedule right now. We're going to figure it out in the later days. In the meantime, in between time, cheers. Making sure you're white straight.